President Trump was elected almost 24 months ago. While there has been an economic boom, that's only part of trying to lead the country. There have been highly publicized international issues with Russia, North Korea, and Great Britain, just to name a few, and other problems here in the U.S. So how do the three men here running for U.S. Senate think about Mr. Trump's job performance? Democrat Martin Heinrich believes it could be better. I think the single biggest thing that could change is to have a, a president um, try to behave a little more presidentially. Uh, much of the dysfunction in Washington de today emanates from uh, the White House Twitter account, and it doesn't help get the day-to-day -day work that has to be done. Libertarian Gary Johnson says the presidential perception in the U.S. is one thing, but internationally, we may not be looked at as a diplomatic leader. I think the seeds that are being sown right now uh, are of distrust, are of dishonesty. I think the seeds that are being sown right now in my lifetime, uh, I think that other countries are going to uh, hold the United States at arm's length uh, given the communication that's uh, coming out of Washington. Republican Mick Ritz says the economic positives are what he is focusing on, not only for the country, but for him and his employees. It amazes me just how much is being accomplished by the White House. Look at the tax reform and jobs creation bill. Because of that, people, the staff in my own company all had pay raises because of the changes. We've seen it across our state. The investment in southeast New Mexico, billions have been funneled into southeast New Mexico to increase the energy production. According to ABC News, the Dow Jones has grown more than 28 percent under President Trump, but the deficit has also gone up to a record $21.6 trillion.